Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more topic in uh, ethical hacking that is exploit. What is meant by exploit? First we'll see what is an exploit and then we'll see what are the different types of exploits, right? So for example, consider if there is any a system or any network any software or any hardware so the usually the work of an hacker is to gain the access of either system network software hardware or data right and that will be done through the weakness of this particular as aspects right so for example if there is any weakness weakness upon system or network or software or hardware so that that will be taken by as an advantage by the hacker and the hacker will gain the access of either system network software and hardware and this process is called as an exploit so taking an advantage to gain the access through the vulnerabilities is called exploit so process of taking advantage of an vulnerability to gain access is called exploit is called an exploit so once there is a vulnerability there might be a chance of getting the access right and see here the question is whether this exploit is a malicious code then the answer is exactly no so exploit is not a malicious code so exploit is not malicious right but but it will make the hacker to send the malware to the system okay so exploit helps the hacker to send malicious code malicious code to system or target machine or hardware or software whatever it may be right so this is an exploit and this is a, exactly a point which is not an malicious and also exploit is also a piece of code so how this exploit is means exploit is a piece of code piece of code but it is not a malicious right but it is not a malicious so it will take an advantage of vulnerabilities so this exploit can be used in either positive way or a negative way so a little bit confused so how this can be taken as a positive and how it can be taken as a negative so obviously coming to the positive how we can take it as a positive so if you find the vulnerabilities, if any hacker exploits, that means if any hacker takes an advantage of vulnerabilities, automatically the software companies, the organization will provide some patches to cover these vulnerabilities. So in a positive way, in order to find the vulnerabilities and in order to find the patches, we can use these exploits. So whether there are any weakness and whether the hacker can hack the system or hacker can gain the access of the system so that can be identified by using this exploit right i think it's clear now now this exploit is categorized into two categories okay one is known exploits another one is unknown exploits see 
coming to the known exploits. So obviously, if if any software was released, a new re released automatically, it will be having some sort of vulnerabilities, right? So I will write the types. Types. So one we call it as a known exploit. Known exploit. So this known exploit, the name itself indicates. So these exploits are identified by the company, okay, by recruiting the cyber uh, researchers, okay. So they will identify the exploits, they will identify the uh, vulnerabilities and uh, automatically they will create some patches to cover these exploits. So that, those exploits were known as known exploits, right. So these exploits are identified identified and developed patches to cover vulnerabilities that means if any exploitation is done that implies there is some sort of vulnerability right so if if you identify the exploitation done automatically the company or or organization will develop some patches to cover those vulnerabilities so the access can't be taken by the hacker itself so those exploits are known as known exploit that means these exploits are identified and developed patches already the patches are available for these known exploits and the second one unknown exploits usually usually the hackers will use these unknown exploits to gain the access of a system right and so these are identified uh, by organization by the organization and develops the patches to cover the vulnerabilities now coming to this one these exploits are identified are identified by hackers prior to the organization prior to the organization and make use of these exploits to gain the access and make use of these exploits these exploits to gain access so that, those are called as unknown exploits so these are not identified by the organization right so if these are identified by the organization automatically so patches will be developed to cover the vulnerabilities automatically are, those are known as known exploits but these are these are the exploits identified by the hacker so prior to the organization that means before the organization finds these exploits the hacker will identify the exploits and they will make use of these exploits to gain the access and these are also known as zero day exploits zero day exploits zero day exploits so unidentified exploits okay these are the unidentified exploits so you can write it here unidentified unidentified by the company okay with respect to the company right so these are the known exploits and unknown exploits right so hope you understood this one so and the two more types of exploits one is remote exploit remote exploit so these remote exploits so a hacker gain the access of a system or a network or of a system or a network remotely remotely 
So that type of exploit is called a remote exploit. Okay, the exploitation will be done remotely, right? So exploitation, the process of taking an advantage of vulnerability. And the next one is local exploit. Local exploit. So the quite opposite. The hacker gained the access physically of a system or a network. Of a system or a network. So these we call it as a local exploits. So remote exploits and local exploits. Right? So these are the different types of exploits. So hope you understood this one. So once again I'm recalling the definitions. So exploit is a taking an advantage of vulnerabilities available in the system, network, software, or hardware. And Exploit is not a malicious, it is a piece of code which will take an advantage. Okay, and it, it will be used by the hackers to send the malicious code to the target system, victim system. Right, so I will stop here. So hope you understood this uh, exploit. What is an exploit and what are the different types of exploit? So if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.